What's up YouTube, it's your boy Barcode, I'm back with another video. This is your free to play channel, and you'll never guess what happened in this trial. Endless Trials level 60, I ended up beating it last night, and I've done a video about this broken artifact before, but you will never guess what happened. If you like the content, you know what to do. Hit that sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's get to it. All right, here it is, level 60 complete. I had to record it from my phone, so I'll be playing some screen recordings, but I had to do it because when I beat the first boss of level 60, of course that artifact gaze of death dropped. I'm gonna go over the trial and you gotta stay to the end because it gets ridiculous. So let's get on with it. Okay, so from here, I beat the first boss of endless trials in the first floor. I got the flask of death. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, Flask of Death, here it is. Gaze of Death inflicts a large health drain on all enemies at the start of battle. I did a video about this before and how broken it is. Yes, this is all RNG, what artifacts you get, but it's still a, so funny. It's so hilarious, okay? You just got to use it when you get it and you see it, grab it, use it, because it doesn't matter what level you're going to be at. You could be level 70. If you get it off the first boss, you're doing 20% of the enemy's HP right off the bat. Like I said in a previous video, you just have to play it out, let your guys die, get defeated, you go back in to the same stage, throw in four little fodder units or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter what units you use, you go back into the match, use Flask of Death, it does 20% again, you do it five times, you can beat it every single match. Here we go again, we're just moving along, right? Moving along the Endless Trial, level 60, four level one heroes, Flask of Death hits right off the bat, boom, 20% damage, you kill off your guys, you go into it again and reset, repeat. Now, if for some reason you're having issues just getting to the first boss and defeating that, this is my team that I use for Endless this trials is that Lux, Zachary, Connor, Mary. All free to play obtainable. Zatlux from the quest. Zachary, Connor, Mary, you know who they are, okay? I bring the armor break, the AoE armor break. I bring Rage Aura, and you'll see what I do. With with all the artifacts that I get, I always try to stack like positive effect buffs with glimmering pickaxe, uh, get the shields, get everything I can to increase the attack based off of glimmering pickaxe. And in this specific run, I got Glimmering Pickaxe twice, so it's 10% per positive buff, because every artifact stacks, and you'll see that here shortly, what happens when that happens. But this is what I do, I use Connor's attack buff, then I use Mary on whatever damage dealer I need to use next, which I put it on Zatlux, he already has 5 buffs, then I use Rage Aura for a 6th buff, so it's 6 bucks, that's 60% uh, attack, and then I have the artifact that once the first ultimate that's used it's an extra chance to get 50 percent like more damage or whatever the case may be it's not a chance i think it's like guaranteed but it's more damage and i get that twice as well which is pretty crazy but yeah this is the wama combo i use in this flask of death starts so it lowers all their enemy uh hp or whatever the case may be uh I use the aoe armor break i use connor for attack buff again mary on my damage dealer this time being zachary because of the turn order i use Use Rage Aura and one shot AoE from Zachary pretty much kills them in in one turn on level 60. He doesn't he doesn't have the greatest gear. I mean it's it's five star gear. It's all maxed out, but it's still he can hit like a champ, especially with all those stacked buffs. Free to play elite. All right, so here's the second boss of the second floor of level 60. All water. It's very typical for the bosses to be all water with the the Tia, uh, Maya, Mulag, Mulago, or whatever his name is. You know what I mean. But yeah, I mean with this, I mean it's pretty much that Lux food. That's pretty much what it is. Our AOE armor break. They resisted. So what you can do if that happens, you just exit this match. Okay, it resets sets all your guys even if any of your guys have died you just reset go back in try the armor break again and then it'll land hopefully that's 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 what i did in this instance as you see here they're back at 100 percent it resets and then i get three armor breaks on this one so i go ahead and do that 
Okay, so then I do my wombo combo attack buff. Kind of got an extra turn, so I just do a little bit of damage. I have a true damage artifact, which helps a lot with damage. So if you see that, definitely get it. I put this on Zachary, I mean, uh, Zatlux, and then I use Rage Aura, and then he just pretty much goes to town. It's just so much damage Zatlux can do with all those buffs, and he gets an extra turn. T is almost dead already, 14,775. He gets an extra turn again. There he goes, bam, bam. It's pretty much all Zatlux. Anytime, I have the artifact where if you kill someone, you get a bonus turn. So that's huge on Zatlux, especially here. But that's just everything leading up to the main part of this video. I beat the boss of the second floor, and guess what drops? Holy crap, I didn't know if this stacks or not, so of course I had to test it, right? Gaze of death, you just don't know if it stacks or not, you assume that it will. So now I have two gaze of death, and we're going to see what happens here going forward. So as you can see, this is just an example of the amount of damage that it does. It does stack two, uh, two gazes, big damage right off the bat. So I'm on the third floor, I just killed a, a higher artifact battle, the one that has a boss in it that has a chance to drop a legendary, and it does, and you'll never guess what happens, but as you can see here, I get a third artifact of Gaze of Death. <laughs> it's just, and they stack. So this is 60% right off the bat. So it's pretty much game over. It, I, I could, it was game over from the beginning, but now that you have three of them, it just makes it a lot faster, which is nice. So I don't even need my characters, but look at the damage it does. Let, let's replay that. All right, here we go. Bam! <laughs> What is, this is the most broken artifact in Trials you could ever get. I mean, it's RNG for sure. If you get one, you pretty much can clear anything unless you have some weird uh, boss you're fighting that has a heal maybe. I haven't run into that yet because usually I haven't seen any healer as a boss. Maybe level 70, this will stop. Uh, but right as of right now, up to level 60, I haven't had any problems with any boss using Gaze of Death. It's just ridiculous like the, the amount of damage it can do especially stacked up is crazy so here we go i'm on the last boss level 60 third floor going in last boss i'm going to be coming up on level 70 uh coming up in the next day or two i'm going to try to at least kill the first boss see if i can get a gaze of death i probably won't even get there because of my team so but we'll see what happens but here's the last boss he's already down the 40 percent health right off the bat no chance he has no chance no chance at all i mean it doesn't even they, they, wow right it's it's crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and use zachary um she gets a bonus turn invincible another bonus turn love bonus turns artifacts they're, they're just so fun to use especially with zatlux it's like you can literally just keep going and going as long as you kill somebody it's crazy so here we go rage aura all that attack all those buffs he has six buffs, but he also has the like invisible buffs where like if you use a spell, you get your uh, attack increased, things like that. Um, and the glimmering pickaxe, it doesn't show you the buff, so that's perfectly fine. We just know in our head it's there. Uh, go ahead, Zachary, do your thing blow them up see how much damage it does gg so there you have it level 60 complete got my rewards for first time clear it's easy as that rng wise anyway there you have it the most broken artifact in the game for sure will let you complete any trial no matter what i'm hoping in level 70 it still does the same thing it is rng to get gaze of death i've had runs where it doesn't drop at all but once you see it, you need to grab it, no matter what. Who knows if they would ever, like, nerf this? Because it is RNG, you gotta get it, and it's random. But getting three of them is crazy. If you like this content, you know what to do. Sub, like, ding-dee-bell. See you in the next one. Peace!